So in today's extra five, I'm going to show you a really easy way to polish up your look a little bit. It doesn't matter if you're going from your desk to a last minute meeting, whether you're running to a dinner or you're at school and you're running to meet someone at lunch, doesn't matter, but it's super easy and I'm going to show you some really simple ways how to do it. Some of the fastest and easiest ways to polish your look really quickly is obviously using beauty tricks. And my very dear friend, Sarah Uslin, brilliant makeup artist, um, is going to show, demonstrate on Kendall how to kind of do this at home because not all of us are lucky enough to have Sarah next to us at all times. I don't, but she's here today to, to show you how to do this. So I think um, something that all women would love to have is those key things that you can do very quickly from work to the party or just to amp it up at work um, without brushes even needed and, um, and hit all areas of the face. So I picked out my favorite five favorite items and let's start with this uh, Clinique. It's the Chubby Stick. This one is Amped Up Apple. They're so, so good. They're so good. And she's got these amazing, look at Kendall's cheeks. I mean, die. I can talk about Kendall's cheekbones for days. I mean, they get redder and redder as yeah. we so talk about them. Okay, so we're, <laughs> <laughs> it's working in our favor. So you smile and you literally tap this on and it's gonna create this beautiful, dewy color. It's like a perfect, Pink. It's like your flush, but yeah, in a perfect way. Exactly. And again, no brushes needed. You can just tap it on and then use your fingers to kind of blend it into the skin. Use hand sanitizer before you apply makeup. That's good. good <laughs> Especially having Preferably on honest. babies. You, you think like that. I have honest sanitizer in every pocket and pouch and bag. I love it. So once the blush is on, I love a nude lip, and I know you always rock either a nude lip or you very yeah, you kind of change it up a little bit, but every woman should have that perfect nude lip like in her bag all the time because it's a great way to just accent your pout without it being too much of a focal point. So um, the trick to this, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. And it's life changing. Life changing. It really is. And the reason is, is you can actually like reshape, and it actually says it on here, you can reshape your lips with this. And um, by doing that, we're gonna pronounce them a little bit more. You can actually make like, them bigger. She says exactly. pronounce, but like make, make them, them bigger. Bigger. So I'm doing that by just going along the outside of the lip. And you can take it to the maximum point. I think a lot of women actually have two lines. They have like the actual lip line and then a faded line. And when you're doing a new lip, you can really maximize it and take it to that faded line. And then I'm filling in the whole lip with this pencil as well. But once you get it on, just take your finger and like smudge I right that. at the top. I do yeah, and I've seen you do that too. I do it because it's always hard to kind of, sometimes when that line is so perfect, mm -hmm. you just want to kind of blend it a little so that right. it looks like your real lip. So it looks like your real lip and like it's like almost like a flushness to your lip. And by the way, if you're not comfortable with a total nude, because some people don't have the courage to wear a nude lip, it can be a berry, a blush, a pale pink, um, a, a wine colored, like just applied very lightly, whatever your version of nude. I always like to say whatever your version of red, right. your version of pink, your version of nude, what works right. best for you and your skin. Right. And sometimes it helps when you're looking for that perfect nude to just like wet your lip a little bit to see what that natural shade is. And then when you're going lipstick shopping, hold up the lip colors, pick like three and hold them up and pick one that's closely resembling the natural tone in your lip. And that's what your perfect lip is. It's like you don't even need a mirror to put it on. This one is Troy Surratt, it's called Heaven. And it's just got a little glossy effect. It's so Which pretty. I think is so gorgeous. Perfect. I don't wanna be wearing too much makeup, especially at work. Right. And in broad daylight, there's nothing less attractive than someone who has like exactly. full face, too much makeup on in a meeting or whatever, because you just go to that and it it just, it's very distracting. Yeah. And I think I'm professional. But. The next step is the eyes. So this one is Charlotte Tilbury, which don't we're get me huge started on fans this. of Charlotte Tilbury. I have every single one and I, I just amazing. use them every day. 
these crayons, this one's Amber Haze, and you can use them as liners, as shadows, um, another brush-free makeup product. And then once it's on, you could either, at that point, use that same finger, and it may even have some lipstick still on it, which will actually accent the smudginess and just kind of blend it out. And then one of um, Kendall's tricks that I've noticed that she does, which I love, is she'll line the bottom, but just in the center to really make the eyes look round. And this is a great product for that because it's already kind of smudgy and subtle. So you don't have to worry about it coming off too heavy. Or and if it does, you can thick. easily just wipe exactly. it down. Exactly. So just like that. And when that is on, you just load up the mascara. So Always load up running. mascara. There's never a time that is not a good time to load up mascara right? in my book. Mascara is one of those things. It's like <laughs> if you were stuck on a desert island. Mascara, moisturizer, <laughs> concealer. Okay. And that's it really. I mean, so simple, so fresh. Five steps, no brushes, and it looks gorgeous. Thanks so much for watching The Extra Five. Don't forget to leave your comments below and I'd love to hear your suggestions about my next Extra Five and what you'd love to learn. Thanks so much for watching.